Good morning to all. Welcome to another session. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you are enjoying the practice. Hope your body is opening up. Only if you are doing it regularly. Now, as always, we'll start from Balasan, child's pose. Stretch your arms forward. Drop your forehead to the floor. Sit down on your heels. Heels apart. Toes touching. Knees wide. You can also keep your knees closed if you want more support on your lower back. But keep stretching your hands forward. Using your breath, lengthening your spine, broadening your back. With each inhalation, stretching forward. With each exhalation, finding relaxation in that stretch. So try to focus all your attention on your breath and your body. And try to maintain it throughout the practice. Every time you're disturbed by your thought, let the thought go. Pay attention to the thought first, let it go and then come back to your breath. Now you can spend some more time in child's pose or you can just come up and start come to a tabletop position and then go for cat cow stretch exhale chin to chest tailbone in navel, navel towards your spine inhale tailbone out shoulders broad chest down relax your abdomen stretch up exhale chin to chest pull in your belly inhale tailbone out chest open Look up, exhale, stretching your back body, inhale, stretching the front of the body, move the flow of your breath, try to pay attention to the movement of your spine, now sit back on your heels, interlace your fingers and we will warm up your fingers and your hands, try to make waves with your hands. See if we can hear any crack or pop from the hands to the waves in both directions and try to have fun with it. Try to enjoy your practice as much as possible. Now come to a tabletop position, but your hands wide, palms facing out, shift the weight to the right, to the left. So when you shift to the right, push the left hand so that you can get more stretch on your right. And, inter and and grip the mat with your fingertips so that you're feeling the distribution of the weight. And turn your palms up over. Make a fist of your hands and exhale. Come down. Inhale. Come up. So this will activate open up your forearms for those of you who have very tight forearms you will find it very difficult to straighten your elbows that's absolutely fine just do whatever you can just push down elbows out elbows should be coming out not to the back come to a tabletop position and move your hips from side to side or forward backward whatever you feel like just try to find opening in your hips and legs and shoulders. We are just warming up. Slowly sit in child's pose and inhaling come to the left. Exhale sit back. Inhale come to the right. Sit back. Come to the left. Exhale. Sit back. Inhale come to the right. You can tuck in your feet. You can also find some activation in your ankles. So we are working on all your joints here, ankles, knees, hips, wrist, shoulders. Now come up on your knee, we will go for Ustrasan Camel Pose. Very good shoulder and chest opener. First we will try variation with the back supported, hands behind the hips, push hips forward and pull your shoulder blades back and try to look back keep pushing your chest forward you can stay either stay here you can go to a full posture where you take your hand to your heels keep your feet tucked in and keep pushing your hip forward pull your shoulder blades back look up feel the stretch on your front of the body breathe breathe as deep as you can Keep opening your chest and heart 
and then exhaling come forward to Shashankasana I mean rabbit pose so push keep tucking in the head and grab your ankles or heels wherever you can grab and just relax and feel the blood flowing into your head keep breathing slowly come back up to one more time we'll go for camel pose keep pushing your hip forward and try the easy variation where you can go for the full posture with your hands on your heels or just do whatever you feel comfortable in don't try to force yourself into this if you if you cannot if you're not flexible enough sometimes it takes time it's very good for increasing the blood circulation in your body activates your digestive system excretory system reproductive system it's good very good for your appetite and digestion come back tuck your head in hand towards your leg and breathe and relax deep breathing and sit back on your heels go for mandukasana make a fist of your hands thumbs in push your hand by the side of your belly button and exhaling go down and try to hold your breath as long as you're comfortable it could be 5 seconds 10 seconds 15 seconds whatever it is just hold your breath until you become breathless and then start breathing breathe from your nose but hold the posture you'll see that when you hold your breath you'll be able to focus your mind more you'll have less thoughts your mind will be less distracted come back up and take a few more rounds of mandukasan which i won't be doing i'll be going to paschimottanasan from dandasan but for all of you who are practicing at home please do it one more time at least the mandukasan so stretch your legs out hands by the side push into your hands swing your arms and try to lengthen your spine keep pushing the push into the heels to activate your legs now slowly inhale hands up exhale bend forward keep your shoulders broad pull in your belly try to engage your rib cage in the breathing use the strength of your arms to pull forward if you cannot reach your feet like it's very difficult in the beginning even i was i was not able to reach my feet for those of you who cannot reach your feet grab a towel or a strap and hook it around your legs and then practice keep breathing and stretch try to lengthen your spine take your head towards your feet don't try to take your head down just focus on taking your head forward for now keep breathing bring hands back legs half way and lift the hips up come to reverse table top ardha purutanasana that's very good for your wrist shoulders hips keep pushing hips up engage your core exhale come down come back to a table top position Do for a few few rounds of uh, cat cow stretch just relax your back and from here we'll go to anahatasana stretch your arms forward stretch your chest stretch the back lengthen your spine and we move your hips from side to side keep breathing Let's stretch your hands out come to anahatasana and slowly slide your legs back and lie down on your abdomen to sphinx pose push the point your toes and push the toes into the floor lift your kneecaps up let your thighs roll in i mean the inner thighs roll up towards the ceiling push your pelvis towards the floor and try to lengthen your spine out of your pelvis try to reach your head towards the ceiling pull your elbows towards your leg bring your chest forward opening your heart slowly slide your hands back lift your torso come to cobra pose lengthening your spine keep your legs active to support your lower back elbows sucked to your body shoulders broad breathe lengthen your spine keep your breathing relax now lie down your forehead on the floor take a few deep breaths 
and then we will lie down on your back we will go for reclining pigeon pose which is great for any of you who have a lower back pain take your left leg and keep it on your right knee grab your right knee with both your hands and keep pulling it towards your chest keep your just relax your breath and keep pulling your feet towards the chest you we'll have to spend a minute here but i will be changing to the other side due to lack of time release your leg and twist to right and the left so when you're twisting make sure that when you twist to the right your right knee left knee comes towards your right heel and when you twist to the left your right knee comes towards the floor use your ankle to push it to the floor and it's confusing just have a look look at my legs how they are going and just follow it feel fine opening in your hips if you move your legs like that change to the other side right ankle on your left knee lift your left leg and grab your left knee with your hands and pull it towards your chest and you can hold it longer and longer as long as you want but due to shortage of time i will not be able to hold for that long release the leg and twist to right and left Finding an opening in your hip. Relax your breath. We're coming to the end of the practice. We go for one final relaxation twist. Just lie down, let your knees bend, and bring both the legs to the left. And bring your right ankle under the left knee. And use your and look towards the right use your left hand to push into the right knee to find a deeper stretch and twist get spend as much as it's been to the 3 minutes here you can just change to the other side twist to the left to get left foot under the right and twist Come back and lie down, spend some time in Shavasan, complete relax your body, at least spend 3 to 5 minutes in Shavasan. That's it for the day from my side. And slowly we cut from Shavasan. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you enjoyed the practice. We have an amazing day.